In this Silk Central Getting Started video, we're going to look at the process of how you're able to integrate Silk Central with other tooling. During this video, we're going to talk through conceptually the integration points. Now with Silk Central, you can integrate information at a number of different levels. The first area we're going to look at is going to be at a requirement integration stage. So first of all, I'm just going to go direct into my requirement pane. And one of the things you'll see from the requirements pane is if we right click on web shop, you'll see here we've got two import options. We've got the ability to import from Word as well as the import from Excel option. So from a first point of integration, requirements and Word are two commonly used requirement management tools in the concept of how the business capture requirements. Requirements. And in this example here, I'm going to select import from Excel. And what you'll see when you do an import from Excel is that you will have a mapping file. If I edit this mapping file, what it will indicate is, well, what is the different levels of information I'm going to import? You're going to be able to configure and map the Silk Central fields to your columns within your Excel file. Now, the name that you put in here must match and be exactly case sensitive to the name within the Excel file. So here this would import information from the requirement name field to the name field in Silk Central and this will really flow down. Now if you had custom fields in your Excel sheet that aren't in Silk Central, first of all you'd create those as a requirement property direct in Silk Central before doing the import. At that point the field would be made available here to import into. So when I make a change to the name for save as and select OK then that will save that mapping file for me. What I'll see now in my, when I select choose mapping file that that mapping file is now available as an option. What you then do at this point is you would select and browse to your mapping file and then you would select OK to perform the import. Now what you're going to then be able to do is that would import your requirements direct in. If I right click and look at the import process for import for Word then again at this point this uses the concept of a mapping file. Now for a Word import the concept of a mapping file is to use the style tags which you have within Word. Now within the Silk Central install there are a sample import from Excel and a sample import from Word which is available to you. Now that deals with import from Word and Excel. What we also have available is under requirements if you go to your requirement integration point and select requirement management systems. This allows you to integrate with tools such as Atlassian, Jira, Agile, Caliber, Doors, Requisite Pro and Rally. Now these are the inbuilt plugins which are available out of the box. You could create a custom plugin using our open API to allow integration to another tool of your choice. Once you select the choice of the requirement management system, you'll have an option to select configure. And at this point, you'll use your connection details through to the requirement tool of choice. This example here with Jira Agile integration, it's going to be your URL to Atlassian Jira Agile and then you use name and password. The issue type down here indicates what type of requirement within Jira Agile are you bringing in. So here I'm bringing in epics, stories and subtasks and you would comma se um, semicolon separate these to include other types of requirement. Once you do a test connection it would validate that and then load the projects available. So you pretty much follow that for each different type of integration. It's about configuring and knowing the information relevant to your environment. That would then set up the integration points. When I go to test, under my test and source control integrations at this point here is where it's going to give me the option to configure a profile. Now what this allows you to do, if I was to select um, a UNC path, UNC enables you to connect to a network path within your environment and that can allow you to then bring in data files as well as files for your automation. However, depending on the automation or tool of choice, it may automatically be configured direct in Silk Central. Under the new profile, other ones just to reference are 
if you're using silk test workbench so visual scripting when you go into here you would enter your connection details to your sql server database and your username and password and then this would allow the connection to tool of choice file from a defect control point if we go into our issues at the bottom here we'll see issue tracking integrations we're able to create a new profile and under type you'll be able to select the defect tool of choice if i was to let connecting to TFS and I select TFS then it will prompt you with the specific information which is needed for your TFS integration. Typically here it will ask you to replace just the information relevant in the brackets for hostname. Once you've completed the top information here and you do a load project then it will open up the projects according to the username and password here as to what access rights they have. Once you've loaded the projects then you load the work, work items and then select a work item and the initial state so it's hierarchical in how it's set up. You can have multiple defect tracking profiles here available to your project and it's here where the name that you reference here is the name of the profile that's available when you raise a defect. Now for further information to understand the defect integration points, the requirement integration points and the automation integration points for example then please refer to the help guide and within here within the help and here within the help if you do a search on integrations this will talk you through the integrations and the details that you need to set up all the different information once you go into these this then gives you the detailed insight as to what it is you need to do to configure when I go into here it will tell me any information that's needed if there's a link to the third party and how to configure the tool. So if I select Calibre integration here and select Enable Integration Calibre, it will walk you through the specific details. So refer to the help and the integration points for further information. 